Hello techies, welcome back to channel. Uh, welcome to this series of where we are going to learn about ETL testing, how to do testing from file to file comparison, table to table comparison, comparison of different database also, how you can do this and I have already created videos on how to insert the data. We have inserted some data and uh, some dummy data we have created and we have updated the data and did uh, uh, table to table validations on different databases also different schemas. We have already done that. Please watch the video in this series and in this video we are going to do Excel consolidation where we are going to uh, do all the data validation in excel only uh, using or if the databases are different databases or if you have a file to database comparison those things can be easily done on excel if the data quantity volume is less okay so let's get started let's go to the screen and let's get started so if you see we had two uh, tables now here also i'm taking it as two tables and the database is going to be same here but in case in your project the databases are two different databases it can be snowflake oracle oracle ms sql mysql or even if it is a file so what you do is you just go here just like this so this is a source data i'm going to copy this data right click copy this data and i'm going to open an excel this is an empty excel just paste this data okay let's paste this data let me insert a column here to copy the column name so let me do this advanced copy copy column names okay let me paste yes so i have copied the column name also so this is how the data is in source okay let me make this as source and then create one more sheet and let me copy target database so this is we close this and this is target database so again same advanced copy copy column names here are the column names and then uh, let me copy the data also and here is the data okay what am i doing is i am selecting all and doing a double click here so that uh, what happens is suppose say for example if the data is like this and i am not able to see the data properly like this select here double click double click like this and then the space is adjusted to the content so this is a simple trick that you can do on excel and this is target so here we have source we have target okay and what we do uh, i create a third sheet here which is validation okay you can name it whatever you want okay so now source to target these two are the data that i have and i need to validate here so what do i do is i just do a equal to if and then see logical test so what is the logical test source go to this one a is not equal to if it is not equal to target of one a then if it is not equal if the value is true that means these two are not equal you give me if it is not equal give me minus one and if it is equal give me zero okay to enter so if i get zero here let me drag it to how many columns do i have till k let me drag it till k perfect so how many rows do i have for here i have till row number 50 okay so let me drag this hold to row number 50 so if you see here all the data we have is zero 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 what i can also do is uh, see if i have zeros that means there is no problem with the data okay so if i have zeros if i have minus one there is a problem with the data so uh, like if i see this if i see zero 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 i don't know where the minus one will be so if i see here i have minus one right so i have minus one but i'm not able to find out so what i else i can do is I can do a conditional formatting and new rule and uh, your number. So if the value is minus one, make it red. And if the number is zero, just keep it white. Perfect. Just drag this here, drag it down. Perfect amazing so the moment we did this this minus one comes up with red okay so what i can do is so what i do is j of 33 okay see this is j 
of 33 is minus 1 so I'll go to source I'll do J of 33 is what 100 perfect so again I do J of 33 is 111 so this particular data which is 122 employee ID 122 there is a difference in the data okay so this can be easily validated using excel sheet obviously the quantity of data should the volume of data should not be higher than 10,000 rows or 20,000 rows that is maximum that uh, excel sheet can handle so if the volume of data is very high if you have 100 to 100 uh, columns and you have uh, lakhs and lakhs of rows then obviously this is not a feasible solution but uh, to an extent of data validation this can be easily um, done on excel sheet so i hope you like this video if you didn't understand anything you can please watch the video again and if you still have any questions please put it in the comment box i will try to answer all your questions and if there is a genuine question which cannot be answered on uh, text i will try to make a video separately so this was the video in this series where we learned about table comparison file to file comparison and excel comparison also file to file comparison we'll learn when i will show it uh, in uh, unix system where we have two different files and uh, i will also uh, show an automation uh, which can be done to compare files of different format x to csv csv to parquet parquet to avro all these different files can also be compared using python pandas and spark all this also i have created frameworks i was learning and i have created these kind of frameworks also if you're interested to learn python and these different frameworks or how to automate the testing please put a hashtag of detail automation and then uh, ask a question if i get more response uh, if i get a lot of comments i will try to create a video on how to do big data testing on different file format also and for file formats uh, separately i will just create simple uh, videos and simple files uh, on a unix system i will try to create that and then create a video on that so in this series we have learned about table to table comparison file to file comparison on excel and then we'll learn more about file to file comparison if you're liking this video please do like the video and also subscribe to the channel i see a lot of people don't subscribe and if you want to talk to me personally i have a one-on-one -on -one session please use the link in the description box to book a one-on-one -on -one session and please connect to me on linkedin uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, please follow me there and please don't forget to follow Techy Krishna Guy King on Instagram. This is a new page which I have uh, created only to post technical content there. And you can also follow me on my personal Krishna Guy King Instagram also. Uh, see you in the next video. Uh, bye bye.